PS1 on PS5. Welcome to the Generational Gamer. The first thing I want to show are the settings. You'll notice there's a load save option. You can make your save states. And then you also have your visual presets. You've got default retro classic, which looks like scan lines, and then modern, which seems to be just a darker version of default. I will go through each of these when I'm playing these games, but to be honest, I think the defaults look the best. Now, as for the games that we're going to be discussing, you already saw Ridge Racer Type 4, and this is clearly Ape Escape. Now, personally, I don't think this game aged very well. Not only doesn't it look too good with the low poly count, which was kind of the standard of the time, it just does not play well using the mandatory DualShock. It is kind of cool they added trophies. I did buy this one, even though it is part of PlayStation Plus Premium. I actually own the original CD too, because it was a game I really did enjoy when I was younger. Well, your tastes do change. Personally, if you're buying it for PS1 games, I don't recommend it. I don't even think the classic collection, unless you're looking to play PS3 games that are hard to find, which are few and far between, I wouldn't really go with it anymore. But you do you. Let's switch it over to modern. Now, personally, it looks pretty much like Retro Classic without the scan lines. I'm not too impressed with it, and I always play it exclusively with default. And that includes Ridge Racer, which I'll show you next. But first, take a look at these graphics in the modern display option, and me fumbling around with the controls on this 20-some-year-old game. Alright, to wrap up Ape Escape, let's change it from Modern to Default. Like I said, I think it looks the same, only brighter. This game came out when I was in my 20s, and I thought the controls were really cool. Now in my 40s, I can't adjust to them at all. Real Racing Roots 99 in... Ridge Racer Type 4 is a later PlayStation 1 release. I actually have the complete set with the JogCon controller and everything. This game will actually look pretty good on the original PlayStation. The polygon count was still pretty low, but the graphics were pretty solid all in all. I still don't think it holds up, when, especially when you compare it to like Ridge Racer 6 or Ridge Racer 7 for the 360 or PlayStation 3 respectively. But overall, this game actually does look pretty good. Now, let's switch over to a different view. Now, see, I think Retro Classic looks absolutely dreadful. But that's just my opinion. You guys let me know what you think. So, it's just real dark. I don't like the fake scan lines. So, that's just the personal preference. I'll leave it on for a little bit, and then I'll change it back. Let's switch it again. Wouldn't you agree that default looks so much better? And now, let's change it to modern. And see, modern just looks like a darker version of default. I'm really not impressed with that, and quite frankly, I don't think I'm ever going to use it. I would rather keep it on default and forget that, that option even exists. Personal preference, I'll let it play for a bit, you tell me. Let's end on a high note and change it back to default. So much better. Let me know what you think, leave some comments below, and have a good one.